The Coalition of Civil Society Against Corruption is asking the National Assembly not to interfere in the suspension of the NHIS Executive Secretary. Vivian Irikefe has a story. The Federal Ministry of Health recently suspended Professor Usman Yusuf, the Executive Secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, NHIS. He is accused of financial misappropriation, which include purchase of Toyota Sport Utility Vehicle, SUV, at 58 million naira. He also approved 600 million naira for overseas trainings and approved more than 150 million naira for banned items like souvenirs. While Professor Yusuf is being investigated, the National Assembly wants his suspension lifted until the outcome of the probe. But the members of the Coalition of Civil Society Against Corruption say no one should be above the law. Admonish the suspended NIS elsewhere to toll the part of honor by submitting itself to the administrative investigative panel with the backing of the acting president, which has its member from DSS, ICPC, and other government agents. We know, and who knows, he might be infiltrated eventually. Mr. Yusuf, as it concerns this issue, needs to avail himself of those allegations by going before the panel that is investigating the case, not trying to lobby the House of Representatives that has lost touch with the Nigerian masses. The House of Rep does not have any reason to intervene or to interfere in any investigative panel going on in this nation. The group is also calling on the federal government to cash in on this incident and review and restructure the health agency to promote transparency. We we'll also call on EFCC to step up their game by getting involved in this NHIS financial scam and subject all the corporate after the thorough investigation process is concluded to the dictates of our law for adequate punishment. We are going to petition EFCC on the issue of the money that was given. There's an insider that gave us information that the money was given in cash. That's about three days ago, Mr. just for them Mr. to raise the issue. Nigeria has one of the worst health indices in the world and one of the poorest life expectancy because most people can't afford quality health care. Health critics question why such a heartless act can take place in a sensitive sector that operates to bridge the thin line between life and death. Vivian Irikefe, TVC News.